Good morning, everyone. Myself, Dr. Navarisan, Assistant Professor at Department of Food Technology, Hindustan College of Engineering and Technology, Coimbatore. So today I'm going to talk about membrane technology. These are all the contents I'm going to discuss about. Let me start with the introduction. First, what is membrane technology? It is a pressure driven filtration technique and the separation or the filtration taking place based on the molecular size than that of their shape and chemical composition. So the material or uh, the components which is retained in the membrane is called retentate or we can say it is a concentrate and which is passed to the membrane is called a permeate. So this is the simplified form of uh, membrane processing technology. So when the pressure is applied, the molecules which is passes to the semi-permeable membrane is called permeate as I already said that and the retentate or the concentrate which is settled down at the bottom of the membrane. There are some features while we go for a purchase or selection of membranes. So it should have a good permeability, high selectivity, uh, mechanical as well as the temperature stability and also it should withstand at large pressure differences across the membrane thicknesses. Here I have quoted commonly used membrane systems in the world world. It is based on their pore size as well as the pressure differences. Uh, they including reverse osmosis that is arbo, nanofiltration, ultrafiltration and microfiltration. So there are uh, some of the membranes which is used in the uh, you know the food processing sector as well as the uh, purification process including uh, cellulose acetate, zirconium oxide and polysulfate. In any pressure driven processes separation is achieved by two methods. One is the dead end flow and another one is the cross flow method. You could see in this animated picture without membrane modules the membrane separation process will not taking place. So there are three modules are available in the separation process or we can say it is a purification process. One is the tubular module, second one is the spiral bone module and the third one is hollow fiber module. Uh, I'll uh, give you the picture for the clarification. So this is the tubular module or the tubular membrane. So you can see the different types of dyes uh, for the filtration of a many kind of uh, you know the feed or the materials. So this is a spirally bounded membrane. So there are so many layers exist for the uh, separation purpose. So here we can see the feed is uh, you know applied at the one end of the membrane and the permeate will be collected at the another end and also the concentrate is collected at the bottom of the membrane. So another one is hollow fiber module. So here uh, we could apply the feed at the one end and the uh, retentate will be collected at the another end and the permeate is you know collected at the center of the uh, membrane that is a thin walled porous tubes. In broader sense we could understand that RO is a concentration process or we can say dewatering purpose and NF that is nanofiltration is a demineralization process. Uh, ultrafiltration is a fractionization process whereas MF that is microfiltration is a clarification process. Next advantages of using membrane processing technologies. So uh, we could carry out the separation process even at the ambient temperature and we can get the superior product quality and uh, uh, there will not be any nutritional changes over the original product. And the membranes are used to remove the unwanted ingredients like microorganisms, dirt, sediment, which will affect the product quality. And it will, you know, make your product very attractive than that of normal, uh, you know, uh, the product. And as we separate the unwanted materials like microorganisms and dirt and so on, we could get the uh, very, you know, the shelf life, I mean, the higher shelf life than that of normal product preparation. And it will reduce the product cost and the sum of the product, you know, the processing steps as well as which increases the yield. So here are some applications uh, of a membrane processing technology in the dairy industry especially. So we can uh, use this membrane processing technology for the uh, product preparation. They are heat desiccated products like kova, rabi, basundi and heat and acid coagulated products like chana, uh, pani based products and fermented and as well as the concentrated dairy products that, uh, such as dahi, 
chakka and shrikan products and which is very compatible uh, when compared with other novel uh, processing technologies and uh, so since it found many applications in the food industries it will uh, you know definitely have a future hope uh, in the modernization or upgradation of the technology uh, of a traditional dairy products so these are all the application of membrane processing in the milk industry that is the dairy processing so when the uh, fluid milk is passing through the mf that is a microfiltration you can get the cream as well as the low fat milk that cream will be used for the further uh, product preparation as well as these uh, uh, low fat milk also used for the uh, further uh, dairy product manufacturing process and such a way the uh, ultra filtration as well as nano filtration found the application in the dairy industries so here i conclude that the introduction of membrane technology found a mutual benefit for the membranes as well as to the dairy industries and uh, we could see there is a noted improvement in the nutritive quality of the end product as well as the sensory uh, parameters which will provide a higher yield and thus i conclude uh, the development or the production of many of the innovative products are possible by the application of membrane technology So thank you thank you so much for watching